Want to know how to manually move the Pocket NC to a known location quickly, easily, and repeatably? Stick around to find out how Kinetic Control's MDI and Quick Access features can help you do just that. This is Penta Machine Company's Q-Tip Tuesday. There are many great new features in Kinetic Control, but not all of them are overly obvious. Today I'm going to show you some of the MDI and Quick Access features that are available in the MDI section of the manual page of Kinetic Control. The feature I want to highlight the most is the Quick Access feature. Quick Access allows users to create a button for commonly used MDI commands. For instance, I have created one here called Spindle On 9000 RPM, which turns my machine's spindle on to 9000 RPM. This is useful because it allows users to quickly give a manual command to the machine without having to type it in or search for it in the Recents or Favorites tabs. Now let's walk through creating a quick access button for a handy command I use often when setting up a machine. After measuring my tools, this command will be used to set round stock two inches above the B table. To do that, I have written a command that moves the tip of my tool to the center of the B axis and two inches above the B table. The G43 H4 will tell the machine to account for the tool's tool length offset so that the tip of the tool will be placed accurately. The G0 will tell the machine how to move. In this case, it will be a rapid move to the coordinates that follow. The coordinates tell the machine where to place the tool relative to the origin of the three linear axes. The origin for all three axes is at the B table offset point, which is the center of the B axis and about 0.8 inches above the B table. This value is different for each machine, so be sure to check your quick start guide to find your machine's unique B table offset. This means that the X and Z coordinates can both be zero, but the Y coordinate needs to be calculated. That calculation is desired distance above B table minus B table offset plus the radius of the tool. This places the outer diameter of the tool at the desired distance above the B table, which is two inches in this case. The next step is to plug that command into the MDI command bar of the MDI section on the manual page. To execute the command and make sure it does what I expect, I will press enter on my computer's keyboard. After verifying that the command was correctly written and the machine is in the position that I want, I can move forward with creating the quick access button that I'll use to do this again in the future. Now that I have executed the command, it is recorded in both the recent and log tabs of the MDI section. From either of these tabs, I can make this command a favorite by clicking the star that is on the far right of the command's line. Making the command a favorite puts it under the Favorites tab, where we can give it a name to create the Quick Access button. We can also bind it to a keyboard key. I'm going to call this command ER40 Stock Set 2 inches, and then press Enter to save the name. If I wanted to bind this command to a keyboard key, I would simply click the Edit button and then press the keyboard key I wish to bind. With the command named, it will now show up in the Quick Access tab as a button, giving me a quick, reliable way to execute this command again the next time I set up a similar part on the machine. It's as simple as that. Hope this was helpful information that you'll be able to use as you continue to master the use of your Pocket NC machine. As usual, if you have any questions about this or anything Pocket NC related, don't hesitate to reach out. Until next time, happy machining.